Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. They call me Mitchell and this is your energy forecast and intuitive message for today, June 16th, 2016. And as always, thank you for taking time to retweet, post, subscribe, become a fan, support me on Patreon.com financially. Check it out my website, intuitivemitchell.com, where the conflict resolution in the store is on special right now, 20% off. Use the code JUNE2016, and you get that delivered specifically for you. Not a mass-produced one, but specifically for you um, through the end of this month. And also, uh, what else? Joining the Orlando Terror Tribe, where this Saturday we're going to do Stepping into the World of Terror. If you don't even have a deck, if you're not sure how to to connect, what to buy, you know, how to get started. It's a great day to come and fellowship with other people. So still sending out love and light to um, the world, you know, and even down to those affected by the Orlando tragedy here in Orlando with me. And um, still finding my place in this and keeping the vibration high, I believe is my main thing right now. And the other thing that I believe is part of it is the message for today. And Spirit just said, you know, this came from uh, watching Jeffrey Marsh and then my, just connecting with Spirit and saying, what else can I do? And uh, what Spirit showed me was, you know, now is the time to be bold, courageous, and fearless. And, you know, I think we all have those moments where, where we kind of go, all right. I'm going to be bold and courageous and fearless. And, and then we do it for a little while. And then, and then you know, life, like it's back to normal or something like that. So, you know, I know I've done this many times in my life where I said, okay, in this area, I'm going to take some chances. I'm going to be more bold. I'm going to speak my mind a little bit more, speak my truth a little bit more, not be afraid to, to rock the boat, you know, push the envelope. You know, I push the envelope in a lot of like, um, ways of like reading the cards and working and doing video and um you know and, and i'm my my snapchats on my page some people are like that's kind of weird you know even you know other people are just like i don't like those but they're humorous they're fun they raise the vibration i'm pushing the envelope in that area and there's still a very powerful message in that bizarre twisted face on snapchat that i'm putting out there and some people like it so again, if it can raise the vibration, I'm all in for it. So I'm being bold, I'm being fearless, I'm being courageous, and I'm opening myself up to find where I can better be of service into this world and be used, especially when something so close to home and close to you know who I am and friends you know extended. I don't know anybody directly, but I do know friends of friends. So it's definitely very close, close closest to home as it's been for any kind of big tragedy like this for me ever. So taking it and making something positive out of it in the sense of it's sparking me to be more bold, to be more courageous, to be more fearless. So there's your message for today. So numbers and all that good stuff and, and cars. So today, all the numbers add up to four. That's very practical, very serious, hard work, grounded. It's building, it's formation. And the Lenormand to go along with it is going to be the man, which could be me. Or if you're a man, it is a man. But the man usually is a man. The man is a man in Lenormand. So it's about a man. And the tarot to go along with this man card is the moon. That's definitely probably me because the moon card is that Pisces character. That is me. And it's, it's about me me today. It's all about me. <laughs> Hasn't it always been? <laughs> and for you too. It's always about you. It's always about you. That's the, that's the beautiful thing. You know, we tr we're told not to be, you know, not the word selfish, but, you know, I believe we should put ourselves before anybody else. I mean, not, not many people believe that because if I make myself the best I can be, then I can be the best for everybody else. You know, it's the old adage, put the uh, mask on yourself first when you're going down, because if you're not in the best shape, you can't help anybody else around you. So my goal is to take care of myself the best I can, keep my vibration high, the body fit, the mind clear, you know, educate, and anything like that, which is about putting yourself first, taking care of that, and then seeing, you know, where you can be used for others. Um, and this is why I think a lot of the old, old school psychics were so ill and tired and worn out, because they were using their own personal energy rather than allowing the energy to flow through them, which is what I do. I'm just the conduit. I'm just the, the, the tube that lets the energy flow through. So there's that aspect for today. So tomorrow, number five, we move from solid grounding formation to five, change, transition, progressive thinking, versatile, freedom. And Lenormand to go along with that is going to be the mice, which adds up to five because it's 23. Shifting, changing, moving, deterioration behind the scenes. The mice can be like cancer. The mice can be stress, worry. You know, there's a lot of stress and worry and fear right now. And it can deteriorate you. Terror to go along with it 
is the Hermit. And that is another card that's me. I, str I love my Hermit time. So um, I'm going to take a selfish moment and say this reading really is for me and how it can affect you. You can put in your own thing. Um, but this is, is how in my Hermit time I'm finding out how I can, you know, release the worry, release the fear and the deterioration and the things that are going on. This is And this is what I do. When I'm quiet, when I think about any of the tragedies that are going on, I, you know, I just, I, I stay in a peaceful, calm place, you know, and I just send as much high vibration and love that I can to all aspects, to both sides. If I see people who are, you know, happy this happened, you know, the preachers, the Westboro Baptist churches, you know, that are, that are saying this is a good thing, you know, I just, I keep them in high vibration, send them love and light. They're acting out of fear themselves. They're, you know, they're acting from very dense, low vibration. If I can just stay in high vibration, it's going to help counteract that as much as possible. So, um, very unusual message for today, but um, so uh, yeah, take it for what it's worth and get into your quiet time. And when you are, you know, combat the dense, heavy vibration with beautiful high vibration. This is why the Snapchat, you know, it's funny, the Snapchat videos probably came because I'd, I'd learned them last a week ago today. My friend said, You should get on Snapchat. And I just, doo -doo -doo -doo. so those things are such high vibration, such fun, such good energy. You know, if you're, if you feel dense, heavy, and low, put on some dance music with positive lyrics and move and get the energy flowing. So high vibration today to counteract any of the dense, heavy, low, fearful, negative vibration. So there's the biggest message. Namaste. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.